Right now, some schools are turning to artificial intelligence in the classroom. Our own Chelsea McNeil, who's also Professor McNeil, explains how college educators are trying to stay ahead in the tech race. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is changing our world. Resilience. The world's working really well, and our technology is working really well for people. Um, the flip side of that is the better you get at stuff, the, you know, the, the, you don't need as many people to, to do certain things. Which may add to why a lot of people fear the advancements in AI technology, like chatbots that can have human-like conversations. You're, you're not prepared for the experience of just typing in a question to a machine and have it give you an answer that looks really, really good, which maybe is probably actually right 90% of the time. Students are becoming familiar with an AI application called ChatGPT, a language processing tool that allows you to have human-like conversations that also answer questions and assist you with tasks such as composing emails, essays, and code. ChatGPT launched November 30th of last year, and within the first two months, analysts estimate the app had over 100 million active users. With the technology advancing so fast, how do educators keep up? And what's stopping students from allowing the bot to do all their work? I use it a dozen times a day. I've Dr. David Joyner says instead of trying to find a way to defend the use of ChatGPT in student work, we need to embrace it. I think what we should be looking at it is how can we redesign some of the assessments that we do so that knowing a student is going to use AI, very similar to knowing they're going to use a calculator, we can still believe they're learning something valuable and, in fact, going farther than they could have without it. Dr. Joyner teaches a course using chatbot technology at Georgia Tech and agrees that instructors, even on the grade school level, will need to be trained on its use. The kinds of content it generates, once you've read some examples of it, it becomes pretty easy, I think, to detect when something has a lot of AI-generated content in it. And so using it the wrong way, first of all, it's going to be kind of obvious that it's not your work. Many agree that we will not be able to stop students from using the applications, but it only works best if educators and leaders in technology make sure it's properly understood. Georgia Tech's role is really in finding ways we can use these new technologies for, for good and for improving some of the things we do.